Well, nice to have a catch up as we get ready again for another game at the weekend. Players earned a day off from having a hectic sort of Christmas programme, but I would think coming back into training is going to be a good feeling. Yeah, the, the, they deserved the day off yesterday. Um, no point in really getting them in. Um, after a game, they can't do a lot. Um, yeah, it's a real buzz this morning in the canteen, um, like they should be, after a good performance while earning points. Um, we, we want that feeling to continue, so they've got to work hard this week. Um, we've got to put on the right sessions, we've got to put on, give them the right information to make sure we emulate that type of performance again. You've got all the facts and figures to say, it's about time we went on a run. Uh, yeah, absolutely, um, but we'll soon find out on Saturday. Um, the players have got belief and they've always had belief um, in terms of the group. Um, I keep saying it, they're a good group to work with, uh, they work extremely hard. Um, and it'll only be hard work that puts us in a position to go on a run and win some games. Well, the first month has gone by as the, as the manager of crew. I think it's uh, opened your eyes a little bit, hasn't it, how, how hectic it is for you? Um, <clears throat> honestly, I keep saying it, not really. Not really. Um, I'm enjoying it. Um, sometimes there aren't enough hours in the day in terms of phone calls, but um, it's everything I expected and, uh, and I was ready for it. Um, but really enjoying it. Um, it's, it's been a 50-50 start, really, in terms of results. So, um, no, enjoying it, um, and, but we want to get some more results. What's the big one big thing that you've taken out of that first month? Um, I'm not sure, really, Graham. Um, you don't really get time to really assess it and um, go over it. <laughs> Obviously, results are important, aren't they? That's, that's the main thing. It, we knew that anyway. Um, and it's about... To be fair, it's probably about finding the right balance of formula in the team, searching for that, finding it. Um, I said to the players, advantage a manager would have had coming in, saying everyone's on a fresh start. That's the first thing a manager says. Um, I didn't have that luxury knowing that I knew the players, um, but I tried to, to get that across to them in terms of it, it can be a fresh start for some of you. Um, and one or two have taken that mantle up, um, which we saw on Saturday. So that's probably been the, the biggest thing, is just trying to get the balance right um, and coming up with a formula. And I'm not saying we've come up with a formula, because we've still got lots of work to do um, to win football matches. Yeah, that, that's the biggest thing, is selecting the team, selecting the tactics and, and the system as well. In the last couple of games, it's gone to a 4-4-2 mainly. How pleased have you been with that? I would think you were really pleased in the last game that you played. Yeah, extremely pleased. Um, but we saw some of the good work um, in Carlisle. Now, we lost the game, I'm not, not daft. Um, but we saw some of the work we wanted in terms of what the players were looking for um, in that game. And I thought they carried out even better um, on uh, Saturday. Uh, obviously, goals change how you, you, you can view things. but. You know, you try and take away them elements and watch it without the crowd noise, etc. And you can see some of the things that we're trying to get the players to do that they were practicing in the week, doing on the on the Saturday. Um, but for, yeah, four four two it gets another player closer to the goal. Um, but I'm not saying we're going to we're rigid and we're sticking with that. Um, we'll always come up with the formula against whoever we're playing against. It might be a new year, but it doesn't seem to change, unfortunately, too much in terms of injuries. I know you've had a quick word with Charlie Colquitt. Can we have a couple of updates, first of all, on Charlie Colquitt? Excuse me. Yeah, um, it, at the minute, he's got a really tight hamstring. Um, so we've got to just see how that goes for the next couple of days. Reassess it. Um, if he, he might need a scan during the end of the week. I've got everything crossed that it's not as, as bad as it seems. His, his strength's quite high on his testing still this morning. Um, so we just got to keep our fingers crossed. It's not as bad as what we hope, uh, think. I'm going to Callum Ailey. We spoke to him before, before Christmas, and it seems just it was, it was a mental block for him at the, at the time when we spoke to him. What have you got an update with him with his shoulder? Yeah, he, he seems to have moved on a little bit in the last ten days. Um, so he'll start. He's been with the with the players doing non-contact. Um, so we've kept him in and around the training as much as we can. Um, he'll step that up this week and going into contact. I don't know if Saturday will be too soon in terms of just in general fitness where he's at. Uh, but there's a game on the Tuesday following the Cheshire Senior Cup. Um, so he'll be looking to get minutes in there. Uh, so, you know, a welcome back from addition for Callum, um, depending on what formation plays, where he's going to play. Uh, but this week we should see some more progress and he should be somewhere near come the end of the week. And one player we know is fit and ready to go, who's back in the building, is Conor O'Reilly. Yeah, Connor's back now. Um, the, the door's open for him in terms of his plans changed slightly um, with the unfortunate news of, of Zach. 
So, yeah, he's back in the building, ready to go. The, the best thing for Connor is he's been playing games week in, week out, so he should be fully up to speed if we need him. Can you just bring us up to date? Is he eligible for the, for the weekend? I knew that the loan yeah, date wasn't right for New Year's Day, but weekend? Yeah, fully eligible, all done now. So he's back at being a crew player. So, yeah, he's, he's up for selection. And he'll be biting at the bit, won't he? <coughs> it's, it's, it's been a great loan for him. It's been a really good loan for him. I um, played man's football every week, a good standard. Um, again, the reviews we've had back um, and the messages have been all positive. The games we've watched have been all positive. Um, so, yeah, it's done him, done him the world of good. He's probably played more football than he would have if he'd have stayed with us. So, you know, the planning from the boys in terms of how he was going to get to game times worked out perfectly. So we're in the first few days of January, so we know what the, all the all the talks are about. But let's get to uh, something that we you know we didn't really touch on after the game on New Year's Day. Was your loan players? Where are you up to with that, and what's the situation? Yeah, well, Kanye went back slightly early. We thought that was right for him for him to do. Um, he wasn't getting the game time. Um, a smashing lad and it just started looking like he, he was getting on top of him a little bit so we wanted to give him them that extra time just to assess his options moving forward because um, he needs to be playing football at his age now so we thought that was the best thing to do um, Kingy um, has gone back to Cardiff um, but I've said to him that's not that's not dead yet um, there's still some talking maybe to be done between us and Cardiff um, so we'll see how that goes in the next the next week um, great, great attitude. He was out on the pitch afterwards doing doing his work, um, knowing that he was he was going back to Cardiff. A real good professional. Um, we just couldn't get him quite get that form back out of him um, that he showed earlier on in the season. Now that comes with how the team was doing, etc. Some changes behind the scenes for him. Um, and I did actually say to him, I said you, you've never really experienced not being in a team all the way through. It was new to him how to handle it, what to do. Um, and I thought he took their messages on well and, and applied himself really well. Um, Lockie, um, we're hopefully hear something back today, tomorrow. We're looking to do something with Lockie. Um, so hopefully we'll get some good news in the next 24 hours on that. So you've been impressed with that. He, he brings something different, doesn't he? And you've had a good relationship with Brentford. Yeah, Brentford have been really good to us. Um, just because the last few, the last week or so, we've had different messages. We have to them, me in particular. Um, they've been really, really good. Um, but yeah, I like Lockie. He's he, he's got a little sparkle, hasn't he? He can add something. Um, he's, he's a good lad. He's lively. I like that. I like some personality. Um, but yeah, he's something different. Um, obviously, he fall, Joel falls slightly into his mould, but a little bit different as well. Um, no, but I think he's he, he's been he's been good when he's played. The, the obvious one is just keeping him on the pitch as much as possible. Um, but no, I like Lockie, um, and hopefully we can get something done in the next twenty four hours. So those are the lone players done and dusted. Where I know you can't reveal too much of where you're up to, but your fans will want to know how it's going. Are you expecting business? And are you expecting if you can some early business? We're trying our best to get things done. Um, it, there's a lot of names come out and you have to do a lot of work to find out if they're available for loan and and you don't get too excited when a name comes up comes up um we've spoke, spoken to two players in the last 24 hours um so we're hopeful to hear something back positive negative negotiable whatever it may be um so hopefully again we'll we'll be able to do something by the end of the week on, on a couple of players certainly one hopefully not including Lockie. Um, but yeah, we're, we're working hard. We, we we were working at it yesterday as a group, um, and just trying to get get the right formula, the right names. Um, you have to cross off the ones that are unrealistic, and that can quickly happen by a couple of phone calls. But now we're working hard, <coughs> and hopefully we can get some recruits in the building uh, to help out in all areas. And I think the players need it as well. Um, the players need that freshness coming into the building, give it give it a, a, a good lift, um, and some need some competition for places. Yeah, and because of the injury situation that you've had, you are actually working with that threadbare squad, aren't you? So fingers crossed, you can you can bring that new blood in. Yeah, um, what message I've said to the players: I don't particularly like changing the team. Um, I like you know you, you're not going to get anywhere if you have to constantly change your team. I'm not saying we won't because of injury, etc., and players coming back from suspension. Um, the players sometimes don't see it that way, that they, they, they want to play. Um, it, if you can work with a smaller squad and everyone is fit, then fine. Um, but the players, I think, do need some help because it has been the same players for the majority of the season, um, churning out performances.
It's not as though it's new to you because you've been part of it. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> it's not as though it's new to you. I know you're right at the forefront of it because you've been part of the management team and transfer windows before, aren't they? So uh, it isn't something that's opening your eyes. You know exactly how it all works, but what you hope for is it, all, it can drop, you know, a little bit of luck on your side. Yeah, and, and particularly working in the summer to this one, it, they are completely different. They are completely different because you, you're, you're waiting on teams sometimes to... A lot of it is if we get someone in, he can go out. So that then takes it further into the window. Um, so it is definitely different um, to, to a summer window. Um, but no, we, we, we feel we're in a good place in terms of where we want to go moving forward. Um, but it is slightly different. Um, it's got its own challenges. Um, but we'll, I think we'll get there in the end of, of what we need and what we're looking for. What about one or two players that might be moving out? Uh, you know, I, I don't know everything that goes on but one player that's really waited and waited for his first chance was Regan Griffiths and he possibly could have gone out but he showed he stayed and showed what it's all, all about it, it, to sort of performance like that sometimes say to one or two others well we're going to fight for our own place at crew yeah uh, and if, if that's what players want to do then then great but I, I thought Regan was brilliant considering he'd, he'd not kicked a ball really this season um, and again like I said on Saturday's down to his professionalism how hard he works in training, not had an ounce of problem with him. Um, you have to calm him down sometimes, but um, but, but no, he, 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 credit to him, um, not credit to anyone else here. It's full credit on him for how he performed. The challenge is, can he keep on performing? Can he keep on tuning out them performances um, week in, week out um, to stay in the team? Um, but yeah, he, he's had options in, in the past to go out and loan. He, he, he was fine me mentioning that. Um, and full credit to him, he's backed himself and he's got himself in a position where he's in the team. I know there's a few days of training to go, but let's just wrap up. Next opponent to come in at Wimbledon, who uh, I read the manager's comments, he wasn't happy with what happened against Sutton, but before, previous to that, I think 10 games were unbeaten for them, so a bit of a wounded animal coming up. Yeah, they, they, they went on a good spell, didn't they? Um, I, was, I was impressed with them when we played them away. Um, I thought they were a good team, the second youngest in the division behind us. Um, they got full of energy, um, good players. Um, they were missing one or two at the weekend, um, which probably didn't help them. But they're a good team, and they got a good balance. They can, they can, they can play counter attack. They can with the with the pace they got on the team. Um, they got the big man up there, which they can work off. Um, so they've got a good balance in how they can play. They can, they can handle the ball. They've got some technical players. So they're a good team, and like you say, the, the run that they went on shot them to the top half of the table. Um, yeah, wounded animal, um, but we're a wounded animal um, because of the defeats that have gone. So we want to continue where we're going. If we think we can just roll out and that performance is going to happen again, then they're going to be mistaken. And they'll be the reminders all week that hard work will only, will only uh, get you so far. They've got to keep on doing it all the time. No, they're good for two or three days in the game and then we've cracked it now. The message will be they've got to continue on that mould.